Just a short video, this is a L322. This one happens to be a 2004 HSE Range Rover. And one of the common issues you can run into is uh, this uh, windscreen cowl. It has three drainage points uh, for any, any water that's running off uh, the windshield, any rain, anything. And the three drainage points are one at each end. You can see the tube from where this little fun this funnel, uh, the water funnels down through here and it goes through a four-way plastic split. It goes in this tube and then it drains down to the bumper. There's one in the middle, uh, right uh, in the middle of uh, the uh, right-hand side uh, windshield wiper motor mount, and then there's one on the opposite side. So over back on the driver's side, this is North American spec, uh, we're going to show you uh, just a very, very simple procedure to clean these. It's a very good idea to, to do that. Uh, if you don't clean these and they're blocked, on this one uh, it is blocked, uh, water will pool up to the top and then it'll overflow to the side uh, and, and, and possibly you know flood your brake compartment or your battery on the other side. On this on this this uh, particular one we had issues with uh, the battery compartment flooding and some water pooling on the terminals which is not good. So uh, the, fir the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get some of the, the garbage from up here and we'll give you a close-up of well, what's actually in here. So it's situated. That's all right, and just come around. So you can see in there, there's just all sorts of garbage hiding in here. And the best way to, to do it is to just uh, just vacuum as much of it out and then uh, we'll agitate it and then try and uh, suction it out from below. So uh, go ahead and switch on the vacuum. So get more of Now I'm going to show you a little trick uh, for how to get all of that agitated and really get to the holes under there. So let's come around the other side. Now all I'm going to do is grab the camera. Thank you. All right. So underneath here, this hose it just 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 uh, clips onto this. It doesn't clip on. It's just sort of press fit on there. So you can kind of wiggle, and the hose should pop. Angle's not that great. Hose should pop right off like that. And uh, then what you can do is, I believe this is a one and a quarter standard vacuum attachment right here. This is a little DeWalt 20 volt cordless one we're using. Well, it just so happens that it fits. If you can see, it fits. Let's try and zoom in here and come to the right a little bit. There we go. It fits perfectly over that little spout you can see right there. I'll wiggle it from back here. It's right over that spout and then what you can do is you can take a little screwdriver or some type of agitator in this case. Let me get this. You can take an agitator screwdriver I'm just using a little zip tie and you can poke at the base of this drain to loosen those particles I'm gonna do it from the other side and then uh, we're going to uh, film like this that's ah, better all right so what we're gonna do in a second here is turn on the uh, whoops turn on the, uh, the vacuum cleaner and then I'm gonna agitate all that crap and it's gonna get sucked right through the tube vacuum cleaner attached to it so just watch this it's gonna be very satisfying all right
one of the sides opened up, you could hear you hear the change in pitch from the uh, vacuum cleaner at work. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this and see what we got here. Let's get that off. There, there we go. So you could see uh, that was a good shot of showing how how it attaches right there. And let me uh, let me look from above and see what we have here. And it's very difficult to see in there, but. Uh, very difficult to see. Maybe, maybe if we get around from this side. Ah, maybe that'll work. There is a drain in there someplace. But anyways, you get the idea. Uh, just do that until it completely drains. Uh, and then uh, you can run some water down it and uh, clear out those drains. So there's one there, there's one there, and then there's one run around and show you the other side this one right over here in the battery compartment right there this one's a lot easier to, to show I should have shown this one but that's what it looks like right there uh, you can see it's kind of got the little plastic four-way split that's uh, Land Rover's attempt at uh, filtering out any contaminants uh, any giant particles should get caught but uh, pollen and dirt builds up over time they get blocked and then you have uh, water pouring over into your uh, battery compartment. So, good thing to check those out. And again, to disconnect the hose, all you do is pull it straight down and out. Look at that, look at that garbage got in there. All right, that's all for today.